हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर बैक विथ अनदर टॉपिक एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशेंसी सो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम विच आई सी इन माय ओपीडी प्रैक्टिस एंड इट इज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस आई सी फ्यू पेशेंट्स हु हैव विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशेंसी एंड वेरियस प्रॉब्लम्स सो इन टूडेज टॉक विल डिस्कस वॉट आर द कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर फेस्ड बाई पीपल विद विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डेफिशेंसी एंड देन हाउ डू बी डायग्नोज हाउ डू बी ट्रीट and how do we prevent uh, such problems so as a neurologist uh, it can affect any part of nervous system common things if you see in the brain it can cause forgetfulness memory impairment uh, poor focus concentration poor attention and also psychiatric symptoms like depression other mood disorders mania anxiety and even frank psychosis i have seen people with uh, seizures or epileptic fits also because of vitamin b12 deficiency and then uh, other symptoms can be tingling or burning sensation of of the feet what is called as peripheral neuropathy or imbalance while walking and sometimes the spinal cord also can get affected so person can have again imbalance while walking what is called as sensory ataxia and uh, and sometimes uh, this hearing problem also we have seen so tinnitus and hearing loss can also occur due to vitamin b12 deficiency so as you can see vitamin b12 deficiency can affect almost all parts of nervous system and other problem which can happen is hemoglobin can become less that is called anemia and skin changes are also common so knuckle hyperpigmentation and also the lips and the tongue hyperpigmentation can be seen in some patients with vitamin b12 deficiency now the next question is you know what who are the people who are prone to it so number 1 because vegetarian food is not rich or in vitamin b12 so vegetarians are at the highest risk of getting vitamin b12 deficiency even non vegetarians can get it because the they have they may have antibodies in the gut that can uh, reduce the absorption of vitamin b12 so it is not that those who are taking non vegetarians can never get b12 deficiency they also can get it and of course those who have any gut problems like malabsorption where the nutrients can't get absorbed or those who had any recent surgery uh, and also people taking metformin anti diabetic drug they are also at a higher risk of getting vitamin b12 deficiency so when you suspect you know uh, that somebody has any of these symptoms we should do a simple blood test and that is a blood test for vitamin b12 level in most labs the normal range is mentioned as 200 to 900 so to have a good level of b12 one should be around 500 to 600 that means you are adequate even if it is it's in the normal range but 200 or 300 one can have symptoms and and then there are few other blood tests also which can be done in a non vegetarian person we can check for the antibodies their anti intrinsic factor or anti parietal cell antibodies which can be positive and if you suspect any gut disorder then endoscopy and sometimes biopsy of the stomach mucosa can be done to confirm the diagnosis treatment again is very easy so if the deficiency is severe so like uh, today i had a person who had uh, levels of less than 83 Uh, so that is very very low levels so those who have less than 100 or below normal range they require injections or those who have severe symptoms due to vitamin b12 deficiency they also require injections of vitamin b12 to start with and then we can supplement with uh, oral uh, tablets and also if you suspect that person has absorption issues it may be better to start with injections and then uh, they need treatment long term especially those who are vegetarians or those who have antibodies the treatment should be given long term because again if we stop the deficiency can return and the symptoms also can return second point is that treatment should be started early because if we delay by several months or years the complete improvement uh, may not be seen in the neurological damage so the treatment early treatment results in better outcomes and how can one prevent so the prevention is all vegetarians should take vitamin b12 supplements and otherwise you know they are at a higher risk of getting deficiency and if you have any symptoms get yourself checked so that it can be diagnosed and treated early so if you have any comments or queries please post and also if you uh, would like to have any more informative videos in the future please post in the comment section subscribe to my channel for watching similar videos in the future thank you